What's up, guys? <laughs> Today we're going to be working on the PL, and uh, it's long overdue. I'm going to try to remove the tint on the back window. As you can see it's been bubbling. It's been like this since I've had it. Just never took the time to try and remove it. So I'm going to see if I can remove the existing tent by myself and then uh, save myself 70 bucks. So let's get to it. So what we got here is one of those uh, clothing steamer things. I'm going to see if I can hit the rear window with this. So I'm just going to hit the uh, steamer right here. Hopefully it will uh, loosen up the glue and then uh, go in there with a blade and then just cut off a little piece off and then start peeling. It's getting a bit smoky in here. Hey, how's it going? Good. What y'all doing over here? Smoking some weed? No, it, 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 it was a, a, a black a black mouth. Oh, come on. Started peeling this bit off. I just made a little incision and then uh, started peeling it off. But yeah, it's not coming off in one piece, so probably gonna take a while. There's still like adhesive still on here, and then I'm just gonna spray it with. Uh, some like super awesome or something like that and then uh, just rub it with like a little scuff pad and then yeah that's basically the whole process Got uh, this totally awesome stuff that uh, I got from the dollar store, and I uh, looked on YouTube. This guy used it and uh, took off the adhesive, basically the same as some of the professional grade stuff that he was using. So just spray it on, and then let it sit for five minutes, and then wipe it off or like agitate it. So I found like this, uh, you probably can't see it, but it's like a little green scuff pad. And uh, I think it's gonna be aggressive enough to uh, work, hopefully. So uh, that did not go as I expected. I'm just gonna have to, uh, I guess, try and use the, the steam tomorrow and then see if I can get some of this off. Because like right here, it's clean, nice and clean right here. But then it's like, you have spots like right here and like all this right here and over there as well that's uh, still on there so yeah I'm gonna hit it again with the steam tomorrow see if I can get some of this off so it's like the next day it's kind of cloudy and overcast but uh, the Sun's kind of peeking through the clouds a bit so I'm gonna try to use the uh, black trash bag and like totally awesome to uh, let it soak and then uh, we'll see if that works. I don't think it's gonna get hot enough, but uh, yeah, I don't want to wait any longer and don't wanna bust out the, uh, the steamer. So we'll see if this works. All right, uh, trash bag is on there. Yeah, I'm not too uh, optimistic on this uh, technique because it needs to be super hot. And like I, I shouldn't be able to keep my hand on the back window because that's how hot it needs to be. But uh, yeah, I touched it. I went out and touched it for a bit and it was maybe like warm at best. So we'll see though. So uh, it's been about uh, two hours, I want to say. But uh, yeah, it did, didn't do too much. Scrubbed it for a bit. Like it came off, like a little bit came off, but uh, it took a lot of... Uh, took a lot of work just to take that little bit off and seeing as how there's so much like adhesive left I'm gonna have to go with a different a different route something that will uh, take a bit more off with less work but uh, just to reach this bottom like tent leftover tent right here I think I'm gonna have to remove these back seats nope so uh, this is day three of trying to remove the tent off the back window of the TL oh 
Oh my god! And uh, just got back from Canadian Tire, picked up some unnecessary stuff probably, but uh, we're gonna try it and see if it'll work. So I got uh, one of these gadgets to uh, clean the window once I remove all the tin. So I put the uh, plastic bag on the bottom and then uh, something I read on like a bunch of uh, tinning forms. The steel wool is uh, like grade quadruple zero steel wool. Let's see, uh, it's got 16 tampons apparently. <laughs> So, quick update, I've been hitting it with some steam and then uh, some of that super awesome and the steel wool pad. It is going super slow. So I've been doing this for like 10 minutes. I've only managed to get like this little piece off. So yeah, man, I have the whole back window to do and then freaking 10 minutes just to get like an inch by inch square off. It's just not gonna do it. So I think I need to uh, go another route this is gonna take way too long. So uh, this has gotta be round four. It was pretty sunny today. I let it uh, and just sit here for like three to four hours. Now I bought um, some ammonia. So I got like 50-50 with water and like straight ammonia in here. And then I'm just gonna spray it on there and then go at it with the uh, steel wool pad. Uh, it kind of works, but uh, it's still going to take a bit of time to get everything off. So uh, I've been doing uh, this whole process for like an hour and a half of just uh, spraying the ammonia on and uh, scrubbing it with this steel wool pad and as you can see I've taken a good chunk of it off there's still a bunch of residue still left over but uh, it just takes a bunch of elbow grease to uh, remove everything and what I've noticed is like uh, the thicker part is easier to remove because it just kind of like flakes off most of the thick part is down near the bottom right here and uh, a little over there which I uh, can't read from this uh, passenger side but uh, yeah um, with this thin part, what it's doing is, what I've noticed is I'm just taking off like a little layer at a time. Every time I spray it and then uh, go back with the wheel, wheel pad, it's like thinning it out. So uh, yeah, just gonna keep at it and then uh, hopefully I'll be done by midnight. All right, it's about uh, 8.30 right now. Most of it is gone. It's uh, just this corner right here. You can probably see it. And uh, probably at the some at the bottom right here. And then uh, just uh, some tiny specks over here. But uh, I wanted to record it and then uh, before it got too dark, just to say, yeah, most of it is gone. It uh, definitely took a bit more work than I thought it was gonna be. And uh, definitely got a good arm workout. So there you have it, nothing else left to do. Uh, just clean up the little bits of uh, residue left over and then clean the whole window and it should be ready for the retent, hopefully. Uh, not uh, the best way to save 70 bucks, but uh, we got it done, I guess. Until the next one, see you guys later. Sash.